My name is Christy Stanley and I am your Norwex Independent Sales Consultant. Today we're going to talk toilets. They're nasty. I have five and three year old boys so mine are even more nasty. And I constantly am asked, obviously, what's the best way to clean your toilet with Norwex? So what I want to show you first is that, as you can see, there is plenty of urine on the seat thanks to my children liking to pee at the same time on either side of the toilet as if it's some game. Um, and a lot of that pee also goes on the floor, as you can imagine, so I'll show you that as well. But what I want to show you first is that there obviously is, in fact, yuckiness in the pee. So you might be familiar with these little sticks that we use on the raw chicken demo, and they actually test for protein. And the reason we use them for that is to show that if it can pick up protein, which are smaller than bacteria, then it can for sure pick up bacteria. So what I want to do is first of all use one of these swabs and I am going to just rub it all over this nastiness all over the toilet and get a little sample. And what we are going to do is then put it back in the little test tube and if the test tube is green, it shows that it is clear of protein. If it is gray or purple, it shows that it has protein. And as you can see, it took no time at all for that to be dark purple, which is disgusting and shows that there's a lot of protein in that urine. So what we're going to do is, first of all, I want to show you what I do while I'm doing the outside. I take my blue diamond, um, the all-purpose bathroom cleaner, and I do a few squirts inside the toilet and kind of let that sit while I'm working on the rest. That's actually a lot more than you have to do with that blue diamond. Um, but I want to let that sit while I do the outside. And then I have a little sample EnviroCloth. And I do this because I want to be able to throw the EnviroCloth straight in the washing machine when I'm done. After I'm done with toilets, I don't take my EnviroCloth anywhere else. Now remember, the fibers in this are 1 200th the strain of a human hair, which is one human hair cut 200 times lengthwise. So because of that, these fibers are extremely fine, and when they're all compact together, it is able to pick up up to 99% of bacteria when you use it and care for it properly. So I'm going to talk to you about that. So when we're using the um, EnviroCloth, this is actually wet right now. I got it wet and wrung it out. And all you're going to do is clean all over your toilet. Now, I know a lot of people are like, this is so gross. There's no way that works. And I'm going to show you what it does. So what we're going to do is just wipe the whole toilet down. Because we know that there's nastiness all over the toilet. Back of the seat. And obviously these little crevices back here. And then I would do um, back there with all the books, that kind of thing. So I've done my toilet back in my seat. I'm going to do under here. And now I am going to wipe all the around, all the way around the top of the bowl and the ledge. So you see that I'm not going down in the toilet. I'm just going on the ledges. And then what I really love about the AmeriCloth is I can keep going. So I can do the base of the toilet. I can do all of the floor because like I said, I have boys. I can do the wall. Whatever I want to do to clean up any kind of splatters I might have. When I'm using this, you can see that I am keeping that EnviroCloth flat. And that's important because you want it to pick up the bacteria. Now, the other thing that makes the um, EnviroCloth really different is the fact that it can pick up um, that bacteria, but it also has the backlock in it, which is the silver agent that prevents the mold, mildew, and bacteria from growing. So what we're gonna do now is we saw that our first test tube had plenty of protein on the toilet, um, which again, protein are smaller than bacteria, so if that cloth really picks up protein, it also picks up bacteria. We're going to start with a fresh one. And what we're going to do is swab that area that I just cleaned with the EnviroCloth. We're going to get swabs from all over, and we're going to test to see did the EnviroCloth in fact remove that protein. And as you can see, it is green, which is awesome because that means it cleaned up the protein. And again, protein are smaller than bacteria, so that means it cleaned up bacteria. 
The next thing I want to show you real quick is the inside of the toilet. I just showed you that blue diamond we squirt in there. We let it sit. And the next thing I'm going to do is take the ergonomic toilet brush and I am just going to scrub the inside of the toilet with that toilet brush. I love this because the bristles are like a silicone type material, not your traditional bristle on your bathroom or your toilet brush. And so they dry out a lot faster. It's got this little nifty ledge that goes up, or um, lip that goes under the ledge. And that's all I do inside the toilet. And then when I'm done, I just hang it right in its little holder. And the thing that I feel like is genius and every toilet brush should have is there's actually space, not sure if you can see it, between the bottom of the toilet brush and the holder so it can actually dry out, which is pretty important because you don't want nastiness growing in there. It actually also has an antibacterial agent within the brush as well. So that is how I do my toilets. Happy bathroom cleaning!